Curtis cabs feature an assembly of parts that require specific adjustment and alignment. Reference the step numbers in this video to the installation manual for detailed instructions and a list of parts required. Carefully lay the crate down on its side and open. Unpack all the parts and organize. Parts are identified by their labels. Organize the hardware. Remove left and right half doors. Remove factory door latches for left and right doors. Remove all four factory door hinges by removing the retaining ring and pin. Remove the plastic bushing from the lower front hinges. Remove and discard the two M12 bolts and nuts from the front corners of the ROPS. Remove the driver's side cover. Remove the rear screen. Apply foam tape to the inside surface of the rear screen. Place the two P-clamps around the ROPS lower rear bar. Place the lower rear panel behind the seat. Install upper rear panel and factory screen. Secure with four M8 button head cap screws. Secure upper rear panel to the P-clamps. Secure upper rear panel to lower rear panel. Reinstall factory side cover panel. Install expanding foam to lower edges of B-pillars. Attach B-pillar brackets to the factory latch mounts. Place B-pillars over middle down tubes of ROPS and secure to upper rear panel. Fasten B-pillar brackets to B-pillar. Place the cowl onto the hood and front ROPS with the spacers in the bolt pockets. Attach A-pillar to the lower rear flange of each A-pillar panel. Place each A-pillar panel on top of the cowl, front ROPS, and side of the fenders. Tuck the bulb rubber under. Install two M12 bolts through the A-pillar, cowl, and ROPS on each side and secure with a nut. Place bolt through tab of A-pillar bracket into lower factory hinge and secure with nut. Place header on top of the ROPS and align holes. Insert bolt with washer into threaded holes in A-pillar. Attach each header to B-pillar. Place the windshield support on top of the headers and A-pillars. Attach to each A-pillar with a bolt and nut and tighten. Line up with no gaps in the rubber under the cowl, then tighten the four M12 bolts. Place a hinge spacer block into the windshield hinge and two flat 5 16 bolts through each hinge. Place the windshield into the windshield support with the bolts through the slots and secure it with nuts. Glass windshield. Install the shorter gas springs into the windshield frame, piston rod downwards. Install the latches into the windshield frame. Attach each latch bracket to the cowl with two 5 8 inch bolts and nuts and tighten. Lift the bottom of the windshield and close the latches. Check the fit. Adjust the hinges as needed. Tighten the four windshield hinge bolts. Place roof on top of vehicle. Secure roof to ROPS with 3 quarter inch screws, nylon washer, and nuts. Secure roof to upper panel with 3 quarter inch screws, nylon, steel, and rubber washers, and nuts. Secure roof to headers with two and a half inch screws, nylon washer, and nuts. Place the fuel filler cover panel onto the right B-pillar and insert two bolts. Align to the side of the B-pillar and tighten bolts. Place the front flange of the fuel filler cover against the lower flange of the A-pillar and install a self-drilling screw. Install a second self-drilling screw through the hole at the rear of the lower flange of the fuel filler cover. Install a self-drilling screw through the lower flange of the A-pillar on the driver's side. Tighten the two bolts holding the lower tab to the A-pillar. Tighten the lower bolt to the vehicle door hinge mount. Tighten roof bolts to upper rear panel. Tighten B-pillar to header on both sides. Then B-pillar to B-pillar brackets on both sides. Tighten the remaining roof bolts. Tighten B-pillar to the rear panel. Install a self-drilling screw through the lower flange of the B-pillar on the driver's side. The doors are packaged with the removable sliding windows installed. Apply general purpose grease onto the door hinge pins. The left and right upper hinge sleeves will be found in the hardware box. Install a brass washer to the lower hinge of the driver's side A-pillar. Place the door onto the lower hinge, latch, install a brass washer and the upper hinge sleeve, then bolt the left hinge sleeve to the door. Door should yield two audible clicks when shut. See the manual for adjustments. Repeat steps 11.4 and 11.5 for passenger door. If a mirror kit is not being installed, insert plastic plugs into the installation holes. Ensure all doors and windshield close and latch reliably with no visible gaps. Readjust if necessary. 
Remove the protective film from the rear panel and windshield. Double check all bolts, fasteners, and smooth operation of components. Also, be sure to clean up the vehicle and polish all glass for delivery to your customer. To open the windshield for ventilation, lift up on both pop-out latches and rotate until the latches rest in the over center position. To remove the window, loosen the two thumb screws holding the bottom of the window and rotate. Pull the bottom of the window away from the door and out of the tabs at the top.